Jimmy, how are you, brother? I'm doing great, Scotty. How are you? Outstanding. Been a great weekend. Wonderful weekend. Yeah, Beautiful fun. weather and uh, really nice people. Made us feel like we was back at home, man. Good, good, good. That's what I told them. If they're going to drive this far, we got to be awful good to them, man. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming down. Well, we enjoyed it, and we appreciate you inviting us. Cool. Tell me a little bit about this one. It's, we built it for a shop truck. It's just an old beater. Uh, underneath is... Is, is updated. It's got uh, tubular A-arms with a custom cross member and, and ride tech coilovers all the way around on all four corners. Ladder bars on the rear. Uh, everything underneath is painted and detailed. And it doesn't. It doesn't run like it looks. Right? <laughs> I mean, it looks. It looks like you just pulled it out of a field. It's been a shop truck for 25 years, sitting outside. But the truth of the matter is, this thing's really a hot rod up underneath. It is. It is. It's got a, a, a little bit narrower nine-inch forward than what it come with. With uh, and four-wheel disc brakes. Got wheelwood disc brakes, all four corners with. Uh, with the master cylinder and all updated suspension. Actually, yeah. Will was out uh, autocrossing it this weekend. Oh, we both made a few laps in it, and it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a big old heavy pickup truck, right. so it's not going to do like some of the little cars will, but it's fun. Yeah, no, it did it did real well, especially considering that it wasn't set up to do anything like that. You no, know, it was no. just set up to cruise around that's, shows that's, and run and get parts and things like that. So, you know, as far as when you went with designing the suspension, you never thought, hey, we're going to run this thing on a road no, course. No, that wasn't what it was designed to do, and that's, what, that's not what we're going to do typically do with it we just uh was having a little fun having with a little it. fun it's car show tell me uh can you open this door for me sure what uh what year is this truck it's a 1965 forward what motor are you running in it uh actually running a 460 out of a 1971 lincoln with a five speed zf five speed out of a three quarter ton i believe it come out of a 89 model ford truck cool and then you actually finished like the paint inside yes yeah yes. that's cool see that's what i'm saying that's kind of like pissed off you know what i'm saying that <laughs> that that valiant that uh what do you call it greenling oh yeah where it's yeah. all rough on yeah. the outside but yeah i like when they do because that's just a little tip of the hat that this thing isn't what it looks like you yeah. know what i'm saying no and that's cool man look at that where'd you find it at one of our workers had it. Uh, Barry Alford, our main main fabricator, had the truck, and I had a, a 39 Mercury, and he wanted it, and he and I worked out a deal, and the truck sat around, and we drove it around the farm for a while, and bought a wheel cylinder, and I said, to "Heck with it, we're gonna fix it right." Let's do it right. He actually tubbed it. Yeah, we we added two inches mini tub and uh, and then had to step up in the bed to be able to clear the rear end and everything because it sets kind of low. But even so, look at how nice the work is, guys, that they did. Just on a shop truck, they wanted that patina look. It would have been very easy just to, you know, leave it roughed in or whatever and be, yeah, hey, that's part of the look. You know what I'm saying? It was just put together to run. But, no, every, all the welds are right. Everything's straight. All your seams are closed up. It looks good, man. It's, you know, even on something like this, and that's your fuel tank? That's fuel, yeah, yes. That's cool. Even on something like this, folks, you still got to understand there's a lot of time and money and work that goes into making a truck. Like Dolly said, it takes a lot of money to look like this, right? You know <laughs> that's what I'm right. That's right. It takes right. a lot of money to look like this, and you know? And the wheels, they're rockets. Right. Uh, and they're new. And, and David come up with this coating on them to make them look like the old Dow 7 similar look. To, and, and I thought that would fit this truck real well. Yeah, because it's got kind of a magnesium, real magnesium wheel right. look to it. No, I agree. We were talking about that the other day. It's got that, that tone, that color to it. Now, is that custom gauges in there? Is that yes, all? Yes, that's yeah. uh, classic instrument gauges. It's got vintage air. Uh, heat and air set up. You can put air on it. That's just crazy. Because it's just kind of truck you just like say. You didn't, you know, you're not driving. Well, you do drive it a long ways, but, you know, ideally it doesn't look like that. Yeah. And the lettering on the door, that was added. A uh, friend of ours named Brian Wilbanks out of Hartsville, Alabama, did that. And I, to me, he made it look old also. It looks like it's been on the truck since, you know what I'm saying, it fits the truck like they painted on it and then like the paint's wore off around it. And then you left the spotlight on it. Yeah, and it works. Yeah, I know it works. And I, it's, was, it's I was a, in it's, it. It's forward, Yeah. Too. Now, that's uh, what the thing I love most about it is, is that, um, 
Yeah, you, you know, I mean, you got a Ford and a Ford, and you got this rustic look, but yeah, it's all fixed up. It's a hot rod. It's, I mean, you could drive this thing anywhere. Oh, yeah. And be comfortable. It's, it's fun truck. Sure. And it rides great. And again, under here, traditional, running a carburetor. One carburetor or two? Just one. Yeah. Just one Damon carburetor. Yeah, but yeah, look, we got nice, we got nice inner fenders in it. We even did a little on the back, on the firewall. It's a little shiny. Not where you'd see it, though. Just when you have to open the hood. No, Jimmy, you guys rocked it, man. This is, is I know you all build high-end cars, but this one's <laughs> cool too, man. This is really cool too. Anybody that, uh, anybody that we need to give a shout out to? Well, just, just all the guys in the shop, uh, and and Mickey Sites. Oh, he Mickey. helped us with us. He helped us with it a lot. TA's Machine Shop. They built the engine, and uh, they're right there in our neighborhood in Hoax Bluff, Alabama. Right. And he he balanced it and did everything on the engine. Have you dynoed it? No, we haven't dynoed it. Right. And uh, it runs good though. Like I said, I'm here to say that they don't have no problems getting around the track out there. And and like I said, mine and our families, right? You know, for supporting us with this with this business that we're in. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a lot of work back at the shop, a lot of long hours, a lot of weekends missed, and then you got to go on the road and promote this stuff right. once it's done. So exactly. yeah, it takes the support of a family too. Mm -hmm. Jimmy, thanks so much. You had a good weekend. Oh yeah, I had a great weekend, Scotty, and we appreciate you and uh, appreciate you looking at all of our cars and 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 in, and making us part of it and making us feel at home. I couldn't be more proud. Thanks so much for the uh, attention and all the access you give me. Every time I come to you all, you do whatever it can, whatever you can. I mean, I showed up at your shop. You wanted me to spend the night there, you know? And uh, so, no, just good folks. If you're looking for a hot rod, even if you're not in Alabama, but if you're down in lower Alabama or in Alabama in that area, I mean, these are a shop to get, to get some work done on. Again, Jimmy, thanks so much for coming out. Thank you, Scotty. What year did you say it was? 1965. There you go, folks. There's a 1965 Ford F. 100 from Scotty D Travel and Charity Roadshow. Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. If you didn't make it out this year, make sure you get here next year. You hear people saying it was a great time, a great show, and it's only going to get better. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you.